Welcome to a new, we got your game in these sports hot topics, hot tweets and spicy memes. Hi, I'm Brody Lemur. And I am Ronald Lee, and today we're going to be looking at all the goodies we gathered, and we're going to be arguing, and we're going to be smashing this big button, because right we're going to be angry. Right, go, do it, waste no, it No, I'm do not it. wasting you it won't. right now. Shout out to chat, though. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong, and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's dive right into her. Our first story features a juicy rumor about the future of the Houston Outlaws. According to a new report, former Optic Gaming CEO CEO Hex is looking to purchase the Outlaws in order to start a new esports team. Since the Outlaws were included as part of the Optic purchase by Immortals Gaming Club earlier this week, the team needs to find a new owner because an org can't own two Overwatch League teams at the same time. The question is, will it be the former owner or someone else? That is, wow, that's quite an interesting situation. Yeah. You get bought out, yeah. but then you might get your team back. Yeah. Like, so here's, you, here's something really interesting, actually. Okay. I know we're not doing esports in 30 and covering Overwatch League, uh -huh. but last night, uh, Houston Outlaws played San Francisco Shock mm -hmm. and actually won three to two. And San Francisco Shock are like the best team yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Houston was not very good at all, but they, they, they scrapped it out and they won. So everyone's saying like, oh my God, Valiant ownership is like the power of money brings team success. So <laughs> yeah. um, whoever does actually purchase the Outlaw spot, I hope they can equal the amount of success with the uh, big green bucks. So the, the question is, do you think that's going to end up being hex? Like, do you think it's gonna go back to its original ownership or do you think someone else is gonna dive in there now? Because, um, and, and I wonder what the cost of the team is like now that the whole overall franchise the pricing's gone up for those yeah, slots, right? I guess it's like whatever they appraise the value of the outlaws to mm -hmm. be. Five dollars. Uh, well, definitely not. Oh, maybe maybe six dollars now. You're, you're missing quite a few zeros there. <laughs> uh, I don't know much about Hex. Um, I know a lot of people like him, and I know a lot of people that were with Greenwall before, after yeah. he kind of jumped ship, they also jumped ship with him. So I'd like to see like that, that nice, wholesome story where he comes back and has this resurgence and finds success again. That'd be really cool for the mm -hmm. league, and it would really spur on a story and bring old fans back in and bring uh, publicity to the team. So I wonder if what, do you think it'd be good if orcs could own multiple teams though? Cause then no, maybe you could dump a lot of, but then as you said, a bunch of teams might be doing better if you're just dumping money into them. Uh, just ask the investors for that. Just give us money, we'll succeed. That's just, all you have to do. That's, that's a great idea. Yeah. Hey investors, invest money in me. I mean, that's so basically So I can buy an Overwatch League team. I mean, do you have 60 mil? How about we start a, a fundraiser? Uh, uh, go start me. What they okay. call the, the things? The, the, go the, fund me? Go fund me? Yeah. I'm killing this idea right now. We're not going to be able to sell anything to anybody Let's at all. Let's move on. Let's move <laughs> okay. on to the next topic. In League of Legends, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to win. But streamer TF Blade, his dedication to winning did not earn him, his fans, or his community a lot of praise. That's because in one match, he purposely killed himself at the enemy base to give a dis disconnected player XP. This was to start an opposing team from remaking the game since they were facing a 4v5 game otherwise. Sure enough, TF Blade's team won, and to say League fans are unhappy about it would be a big understatement. Oh, that, that, is, that is interesting. It's competition, man. It's that, competition. That is a brilliant strat. He exploited the system. I don't think we should be like, oh, boo, TF Blade. We should say like, wow, you found a way to exploit the system. That's something that could be really dangerous in the future. Let's patch that. Right? Yo, that's brilliant. Why would, why would nobody like you? Why would people get mad at that? If you're mad at this guy for d doing what's in the game, like it's within the bounds of the game. You got an opportunity to exploit a, a little like loophole yes. to make sure that you have an advantage in a game right. without cheating. That then do it. That wasn't cheating. Now, if he, if he was in there and you told me that he was using like you know macros and stuff to, to be able to accomplish that, yeah, totally different. That's a different story. Yeah. But these the, are within the confines of the game itself. And also, like, don't get mad at him. He's trying to win. It's a competitive environment. Be yeah. mad at, like, the dude's team. This is why you never use all chat. This is why you don't announce that, oh, man, we got to AFK, go next. Because really good players like TF Blade, you know, he's challenger level. He's going to be like, oh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's mess with him a so little bit. The, the question is now, do you think that this is something that should be patched by a developer? Like, something that should be fixed because it is exploitable? Or should it just be left in the game? I think the system needs to have, I think, lighter rules in mind. They should maybe make it so, like, if someone goes to your fountain that early in the game and dies to kind of recreate what he did, they have, like, a failsafe that, like, still allows it to be remade. But he, like, pointed out that, again, there's that loophole there. Um, I really think it's actually well crafted. With, this is like a really minor problem because mm -hmm. in games like Overwatch, the lever system is like so much worse. How yeah. it works is like, um, I think if someone disconnects within the first 10 seconds, or sorry, one minute, and the game yeah, doesn't, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. even then if it just kills the game. Yeah, you just, like, you can't reset it. Uh, like, so maybe like League should have that too? 
No, okay. I, like, I like Lisa some more. I'm gonna say I like Lisa some more. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I thought it was brilliant. No hate on the man. Anyways, next up, we've got some Overwatch World Cup announcements. Blizzard revealed the national committees for all the teams eligible to compete in the World Cup, as well as who the top 10 teams are. Here's the catch though. While more than 10 teams will compete in the World Cup, Blizzard is only paying for those top 10 teams to compete. That's because there are no qualifying stages this year. The World Cup will only be held at BlizzCon, and if a team wants to compete outside the top 10, they have to suck it up and spend some cash. Yes. Now, Ron, as, as someone in the OW scene, mm -hmm. do you agree with this, this approach from Blizzard, or do you think they should be covering more teams so there's pros and cons to this right okay they're opening up the kind of um the amount of teams that could potentially compete because any team has like the the opportunity so long as they can kind of scrap together the mm -hmm. funds right um only paying for the it's top a lot of money teams. it's not just scrapping well, together money yeah, that is like, a lot of money it's the campaign it's to get your your guys the flights it's to make sure they have like their passports in order and all that sort of thing right but like i Traditionally, I don't think this changes too much because typically a lot of the teams from uh, less funded regions and stuff like that aren't as competitive. Mm -hmm. I think no matter what, regardless if they did this, we'd probably see the same top 10 teams attending more or less anyway. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel, I feel like if you're going to have a World Cup, should you not be representing as many places as There's possible? So, the games aren't going to be even, and it's not going to be fun for those countries okay. to come and get stuck. Like, I, I, I get that argument, and I've actually spoken to a friend about this, but it's not going to be fun for, say, you know, uh, I don't want to throw a country under the table. Let's just pick... I, I mean, know, if Turkey, they're bad, they're bad. Turkey, <laughs> Turkey or, or, or Chile or something. Like, just like a region with typically less support. Like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Typically, the Latin uh, American communities don't get as much yeah, official but, support. But that's why maybe they should be getting the support here, because then that helps then develop Blizzard those regions. Be, then they're playing, then you, Blizzard will have to be actually playing favorites and catering to a specific region. You might be saying, well, they're already catering. But they they're are. Not. It's based on merit. It's based on the top 10 that, I guess, like, but I feel, made previous I feel like a successes. World Cup should definitely be to, to help promote talent so around the world. So that's great for Canada. So the teams that have but, money shouldn't be getting favoritism here. It should be the teams that don't have the money that well, should those, be supported. Those teams will get supported and go and get smashed, and no one wants to watch USA, Korea, and Canada walk over the other 20 teams. But they're going to keep getting smashed if they can't keep going to these tournaments well, and getting experience. That's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. I think they can make it homegrown and, and advanced if they really tried. What? Okay, just get money. <laughs> All right, well, agree to disagree. Let's okay. talk about our last story, which actually features Valve doing something for once. Oh. Namely, it just released the standalone version of the popular Dota mod, Dota Auto Chess, out of nowhere. It's called Dota Underlords, and it's currently available for Dota 2 Battle Pass owners, and will be available on Steam, Android, and iOS when it goes into open beta later this month. The developers of the original mod have already released their own standalone game, which is just called Auto Chess on mobile devices, and will be released on the Epic Game Store later this year. All oh, right. Yes. Epic Games, not a big fan. I know Rocket League, whatever. Uh, I think this is kind of weird, right? Like, the community made its own game, and then Dota's, like, the, the developers, <laughs> like... Tr you know what they're, they're trying to do? They're stealing the idea and trying to get the, the money off of it, right? They're just trying to, like, make up for the uh, terrible card game release they had in Artifact. Um, I think they, so they're, like... profiting off of someone else's <laughs> idea because well, they made a mistake. That's literally Valve's entire gaming career, essentially. Look at look at their two most popular oh. esports right now. They were both mods. Oh, shoot. I think you have a point. Right? Yeah. That, that's what Valve does. This is not, to me, So is that wrong the for them to do? Do you think that's, like, a scummy thing well, they, they talked to the original developer, actually, and, okay. and asked but the, uh, to work together with him. Uh, but they, I guess ultimately they had different creative d uh, approaches oh. and, and just mindsets on what it should be. So the okay. original owner said, I'm making my own game, right. but you guys can do yours too. So I, I think it was given uh, so he permission, permission to but, do yeah. their own version. Exactly. So what is he doing? He's competing to see like what the community favors. He's like, my original version or yeah. Valve's knockoff. So I, th I feel like that's, oh. yeah, ultimately that's what it's going to come down to. I mean, like, his original version, th though, won't be able to use the IP of Dota, right? Like, it won't oh. be able to use any of the characters from it, whereas Dota's will be able to use those characters. So they do have some sort of pull in there. I guess the question is, do you really think that if people invest a lot of time to a game that's already out, Auto Chess app is already out, oh, do you think they're going to want to transfer over into Dota's? That's... That's Even a given? really hard question. I'm on the fence here. I mean, I would love to, uh, if I played Dota Auto Chess, which I don't. I'm not gonna even play it, so yeah. like, I can't even play it. I don't like RNG, right? But if I did play, I'd probably want to support the original and see kind of where it sprouts us from there. Because I've seen, you know, like Valve creates great stuff, not not like any offense to them. Yeah, yeah. But you, it's, it's such a brilliant thing to, to kind of see like, 
come out of nowhere, and I'd love to support them and see yeah, where yeah. it goes further. But either way, neither one of us are going to play it because too much RNG, right? Right. right. RNG sucks. All right, now it's time to check in with streamers and clip it. First up, Erob221 takes his stream to the basketball court to prove he's not bad at basketball. Why are you trying to go so hard today? Because I embarrassed myself last time. People think I suck at basketball. I don't. You do suck. Okay. You just got nutmeg. You just got fucking nutmeg. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> just the solid, just so at the end is so Dude. good. Yo, he's got wrecked. That's embarrassing. I mean, can we dude, press F in chat for this man's? I mean, like I this 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 basketball wasn't impressive to me because we just watched uh, the Raptors game last night. Right? Oh, fair, yeah. So like that I mean, was that was small time stuff. Like I, we've seen more embarrassing things happen to the Golden State. So <laughs> you know this guy has nothing to be embarrassed about. I don't know. That, t I don't even play basketball, and that was pretty embarrassing to me. Really? So you don't think he like owned it a little bit? I mean, he, he, you know his chat was ripping into him, that's for yeah, sure. But that's um, what chat's for, right? Yes, I mean, it's part of the fun to play into mm -hmm. it, you know? Like, I think uh, good streamers know what they're doing. They'll, they'll say something, they know it could bite them in the butt, but as long as you receive it well, it actually makes you more popular and more likable. Mm -hmm. um, like, a lot of actors, I think, that are really charismatic will typically do this. They'll, like, say something mean, Right, but then like another co-star will give them like an alley oop to like redeem themselves. Um, this is why I just don't do anything that I'm not good at. Then you're you can't... not good at a lot of stuff. You should just. I know. Out. That's why I don't do anything. No, you're good at Rocket League. Nope. Oh, you're good at Move on. Stop okay, talking about. Well, all right, let's keep going. Okay, I'm trying to give you an up. <laughs> no. But next up, you know, let's continue watching uh, this panel from E3 where Eris gives his thoughts on the show. Uh, more E3 Coliseum coming right up. Stick around. The that the next. sucked. Oh. Every time, dude, Nintendo Square, dude, I'm never streaming again. <laughs> Everything sucks this E3. I was the most optimistic guy last week, dude. Everyone was like, this E3 sucks. Psh. I was the most optimistic. Can you believe I just watched that? The Simpsons, 30 years of video games. Man, dude, this is brutal. Oh, I'm I don't not know. a fan, dude. I'm gonna have to disagree. There was a lot. I mean, there was there was poop as well. I mean, yeah. like just look at every Ubisoft, E3 has just its dance, winners and losers. Yeah, Just Dance <laughs> was was bad. I was I was very vocal about my dislike for the. But just we dance. know that happens every year, so it's yeah, fine. It was, we know yeah. it's gonna. It's to be no. expected. Man, like I thought I thought this year's E3 was pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. I mean, like we saw some good stuff from. I don't really care personally about Breath of the Wild and stuff, but you I'm know, so excited for the sequel. That's what I'm I know Camille must be and a bunch of other people in the office. S smash. 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 They're getting what they want. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, with more cyberpunk we saw. Yeah. Like, you just put Ghost cyberpunk Wire, in. Ghostwire Tokyo. Right? We don't know much about it yet, but it no, still but looks, it looks sick. beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I trust the devs. I don't right? know. I, th I think there's a lot of... And Grandma Gang in, uh, yeah. in Watch Dogs. Death you know, I was a, like, uh, there's so many good things out this year. I can't believe he said it was yeah. bad. I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that. I think if you 100. think it's bad, you have bad taste. You probably play Ooh. bad games. You know, like you have a poor palate. And uh, you and Brody might actually get along because Rush League is also a bad game. Wow! That was out of nowhere and completely unnecessary. <laughs> I want to mute you, but I, I, we'll, I, Dude, I don't you know. Should, I want more mute. You gonna leave it? You're gonna leave it yeah, for now. You're gonna move on for now. now. It's because right now it's time. To, <laughs> again, we're taking a dive to the deep depths of the vast ocean that we call Twitter to bring you the very best tweets from the, that the pros, sorry, have to offer. Welcome to the Profound Thoughts. Our first tweet hails from professional Fortnite player Myth. He says, "Out of all the esports communities in the world, I would not like to ever have beef with the Gears community. Y'all are some diesel mother effers, and I'm not trying to lose a limb." <laughs> Yo, that, that's, that's so real true. though. Gears yeah. trash talk is yeah. on. Point, dude. dude. The, everyone's seen that clip of that one guy that's like, put your bank account on it. Yeah. Put your wallet on it. And he goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Gears has been on point. Is there, like, Gears aside, is there any esports scene that you wouldn't want to mess with? Oh, the FGC. They're so close, and like all these guys have watched people fight for like decades. They probably picked up some moves. Yeah. I'm like, I'm pretty sure like top players in Street Fighter can actually harness energy and fire like the tokens. <laughs> I've seen it. Drew it does it gym. all the time. That's his warm up before coming on the show. I, I've always asked him to show me, and he's like, no, I can't, you know? It's like, you know, you know, and, and he's like, you don't know. You, I don't have the street cred. You only know if you know, but you don't know, I guess. So here's the thing he says, I don't have the street cred, right? But we went into uh, Green Room the other day, and we played Smash, and I whooped everyone's butt. 
I yeah. come from a shooter background, but I was the best guy on that couch. But is Smash really a fighting game? It is a fighting game. It's more than a party game. I wanted to meet you for that, but you're <laughs> lucky. We don't have enough time for me to do that. All I right. want to move on. <laughs> so our next tweet is from Twitch streamer Curious Jess with a very enlightening revelation. The tweet says, best part of being an adult is not having to explain your microtransactions to anybody. Yes, you do. Do not give in. Do not be weak. You do if you're married. Uh, well, yeah, that's true, yeah. You, married. Yeah. you probably have that joint why, bank account. Why are we missing hundreds of dollars from our bank account? Just a hundred? Where, where's Just all our No, hundreds. So, wait, so do you want to hear a really embarrassing thing from me? Yes, tell so, me all your embarrassing stories. I used stories. to play League of Legends, right? Okay. Oh, that is embarrassing. That is, wow. <laughs> oh my god, Lisa's going to be mad. Okay, so here's the thing. You can actually send them a ticket and request for them to tell you how much money that you spent on the game oh, no. through like the entire like playtime. Yeah. So I've played from like like season two to like season seven. Or so, and I was like, "Oh, I can't be that much. I spend like maybe like 50 bucks a year at most. It's not crazy." Yeah. I've spent, I've spent chat, a thousand dollars on a free God. game, and the thousand bucks doesn't give you any sort of benefit at all. It's just purely cosmetic. I'm so I. If my spouse found out, she would like. I would lose well, my money. Well, we have evidence now. You just screwed up. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I made a horrible mistake. Let's fast forward so she can't find out. Our last tweet <laughs> of the day is also a revelation, but not quite as enlightening. Here's a tweet from Overwatch player Stratus. It says, wait, iced coffee with goldfish tastes amazing. Well, I mean, like, I'm all about Frosties and fr... What? Why do you have iced coffee? So... Ron. So you remember Ron. the other time we did Prize and Punishment like a long, long time ago in a whole yeah. show. Uh, I had a pickle soda. Yes, you did. Right? And everyone's like, it's going to be gross. Don't do it. But you enjoyed right? it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So um, Don't tell me you think this is going to work. I mean, uh, the only way to become a fuller, more complete human being is by stepping outside of your comfort zone. And oh, God. You know do you have what? goldfish down there, too? I have more than just He's a single it. goldfish. I have... Uh, quite so, a large number. So how does this work? Do you do you like? He did do, not specify the is instructions. It, is it cup, cup, like a soup in a cup, or is it like you so pour it in like cereal? I think you know, like go big or go home, right? Like honestly, like no, you need to get some ice. Okay, let's do. Stop. Just, should I push it in a little bit? Oh, it's Let gonna be just, soggy. No, 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 no. You it's probably like don't It's like cereal. You just have to go in with it, right? This desk is a mess now, but <laughs> Stratus, this better work yeah. out. Run. Is it good? Oh, that's so gross. He's going in. It must be good. He's going in. No. Is it good? No way. Okay. Okay. Really good. This is really gross. No, I dip my fingers in it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, just me. over. <laughs> <laughs> that's too much for you, dude. I just started thinking about your dirty fingers in there. <laughs> Let's get out of this. Let's move on. It's time for some crowd control. So everyone is stoked to see Banjo and Smash, but I don't know if anyone has thought about what Kirby will look like when he sucks up Banjo. Illizen had our answer, though. Honestly, here's all the Dragon Quest, guys. That is brilliant. Oh. Some people think it's just going to be the eyes. Up. He's not on this. Well, from that or from the goldfish? Kirby's going to throw up, too. He can suck up <laughs> anything, but not this. Oh, my God. I just wanted to... I was giving it a chance. The aftertaste is disgusting. It, the, the, the first taste was disgusting. It was, no, it was okay. I, I think, you know what? The saltiness on my fingertips really helps match the saltiness of the goldfish. All right, Kirby, stay, stay away from that snack, dude. Go back to Frosties and fries. <laughs> back to Dreamland? Yeah. All right, Jesus. well, I'm definitely in Nightmare Land now. Let's go on to the next topic. <laughs> well, I was opening up my mouth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Me and Brody have been on the desk together all week, and I like to think that we're more on the same wavelength now, especially after that drink, but we still always argue about what to get for lunch, maybe even more so today. But OG One Tees provided us with a perfect solution on what to eat. Oh my God. This is this is genius. genius. Dude. We get into a fight in the office every day about, um, you know, I want I want to be healthy food. today. I'm only going to get one Baconator. One uh, Baconator. Oh yeah, like, do we want Burger King? Do we want Wendy's? This is a literal food fight. Do we? It is <laughs> this is genius. literal. Can, can we talk about, can we Who's, talk about? What do you put your bet on? Um. Well, I already know what the outcome was because he did give us an update. So I'm gonna I'm oh. gonna put my bet on mac and cheese. 
Mac and cheese? Because mac and cheese. And he's like, yep, so I'm cooking up some KD right now. Oh. <laughs> we should do this later in the green room. We should set up Smash Bros. or whatever. We are not putting goldfish and iced oh, <laughs> coffee on the list. Oh my god. No. That'd be brilliant. Let's just make a bunch of, oh wait, okay, flip side, put a bunch of gross things. And then the the winner of like whatever that suggestion is, everyone else has to try it, but the person that created it in the menu. You don't get to have any more ideas, Ron. You're out of the idea poll right now. It's just us. Our last post is a slightly older video, but it's worth to bring back up because I don't think enough people have seen this. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it, people? It's a disaster! No one has ever done that. No one has ever done that. Oh! Death, what the hell? What on earth is going on? He catches everyone. Oh, this could be a total disaster. So you, if you're into esports, you may have noticed a couple familiar lines yeah. there. You took a bunch of esports casters calls. I had like flashbacks to those them. moments in like various games and yeah. stuff like that. But that's brilliant. I love he, that. He, he, uh, he actually had a, um, uh, near the end of it, the full video is a bit longer. You can go check it out. Um, but he actually had um, uh, the, where you at? Where you at? Happy Feet, the original, the OG oh, Smash. Oh, the melee. One in there. And it was oh. the guy was just looking for his puppy. He didn't know where his dog was. <laughs> where you at? Oh. Do you think he was inspired like to animate these things? like that happened to him in real life at all? You think he was actually like chased by a shark or woken by a yeah. puppy? Yeah, oh, absolutely. He's probably lived a very, very thorough life. Yeah. He's been able to come up with those ideas. My life seems so mundane compared to his then. I mean, like the, the like weirdest it gets here. Not is, anymore. That's true. I think I am quite more of a complete human being nowadays. You you are. <laughs> but, I don't know about later, though. You're definitely going to be falling apart yeah. when that gets through you. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> that's it for you to Remember that you can always hit up hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Check out all our socials at Squad State for everything esports.